Hey guys, oh. <laughs> I rolled my ankle. Whoo! Welcome to the $500 Timu Fishing Budget Challenge. Today's video has a little bit of good, ugly, everything in between. My granddad's been telling me about a spillway, so I wanted to explore it. Should have just left it in his mouth. What John boats are for there. Not a great sound. Gosh dang it. I don't know if I put my chafe armor on today. Oh wow. Woo. That is uh, not what you want to see. He might be coming up. Okay, be careful. Slippery. It's like there's a hole in the dam. Spit water out. Not coming over the top. And sometimes we learn you should just keep life simple. Load up the high school buddies and go bank bassing like some true pond hoppers. And who knows, every now and then you might just rub a big old tummy. Dang it. So I feel like I'm too close to the bank, but probably, oh, oh my gosh. Oh gosh. Dude. Oh gosh. That's oh. a giant, dude. Yeah. That yeah, is a, yeah. That's a giant. Bite him, buddy. This is a legit giant. <laughs> Take my bet back off. He's oh, got to go up. Oh my gosh, dude. He's got to go up. This is a giant. Oh, boy. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. And as Davy Gravy would say, buckle on in till the pilot says it is safe to walk. I don't think. <laughs> Enjoy the video. All right, folks. Today, we're going to a place on the river that I've never been in my entire life. There's a spillway known as Croha. A lot of people know about it because there's fish here that are huge, certified river giants. The reason the spillway is so special, every spillway that I fish besides this one has sections of the river that have been blocked off by other spillways. So it's not open to entire lakes where there's deep water and fish can grow up and become giant river fish. There's much bigger gar and a lot more gar. There's giant carp, there's huge hoochie mamas, largemouth bass, our beloved shoal bass get up in the shoals here and there's pretty much every fresh there's every fresh shoot <laughs> we were going so good there's every freshwater fish species you can think of in this stretch of river now the problem is a little thing called the rocks drone shot <laughs> There's a 200 yard stretch of rocks that a lot of people rip motors off of. A lot of people get there and they realize they can only kayak. Then a lot of kayakers try to go up there and they flip in the current. There's just so much stuff happening before you get to the spillway. Also today we've teamed up with Timu. Pretty cool new app. They have stuff for sale for super cheap. It's kind of like the Wish app, but just way better. Today we have rods and reels and all the gear we're gonna need to go after pretty much every freshwater species that I know of. But before we crack into our dollar budget with Timu, we're gonna go up river, try to get over these boulders. So at least we know we can fish today. Ooh. Water is crystal clear today, man. Crystal clear. It is, oh God, oh, okay, yeah, I just forgot I put that fish right there. Oh, wow, what is that? Oh. Man, something got a hold of this guy. Or he's just got a bacteria rotting his flesh off that I'm just <clears throat> splashing in my mouth right now. I'll put it back there. Oh. I always get so nervous in a new part of the river just because I feel like every stretch of the river has a different channel, different boulders, rocks. Okay, wow. Dude, we're, I mean, look at that. We're in a foot of water. 
That does not look good, brother. That does not look good at all. You just look up and it's just, it's just a wall all the way across the river. We are getting into prop losing territory. Seeing a lot of dark shadows underneath the water. That is when you slow down, especially if you don't know the area. Sound like my dad right now, holy smokes. Okay, why to rev? I don't know. This is the fun part. to get up to this rock line crawl up there and uh see the best shoot we can take yeah sorry girl we might have made it as far as this old girl is gonna let us go on the drone i was hoping that we could just find like a path and kind of bounce around the rocks but we're gonna have to carry this boat golly bro this ain't great huh huh mm -hmm. all right i think i got a plan bad news every way we go is gonna suck good news when it's over, it'll be over. So the look my dad gives me when he says something. Game plan simple. I'm gonna hop in the water, pull the boat up this side stream. Then we're gonna rip around this island. We'll be there. Start the timers, baby. I think we can get this done. Give me 33 minutes. We'll be past the rock wall. That's a serious guess? Yeah. What? I don't know. Uh, yeah, that's not what we want. Right out of the gate. Dang it, bro. I see it. Gonna be a lot of green rocks after today, man. A lot of green rocks. What John boats are for, though. I'll put my chafe armor on today. Yeah, 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 yeah. Would you help me? Two, one. Three, two, one. Oh, that sounds so good. Yeah, girl. Okay, see if I can't apply pressure and lift her in front. Starting to see why people don't bring boats here. Three, two, one. I said three, two, one. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, dude. I'll tell you what I am excited about. Timu's one year anniversary. Today's video is brought to you by Timu. Last time I did that, it was my niece if you guys want right now they have an anniversary in nope that's my that's my niece they don't have that what's your passcode it says the, it says your face id uh, just straight down okay if you guys haven't heard of timu they are an app a shopping app that's kind of taken over right now they have a bunch of different things that are super super cheap and to celebrate a year of just kicking butt in the shopping app world <laughs> what nothing i thought you said the a word they have a thousand different items for a dollar they have pretty much everything you can think of but the cool thing is they have a bunch of fishing gear too which if you're anything like me you like pinching some pennies <laughs> what dude pinching pennies okay what'd you think i said pinching nothing 
Go ahead. Bro, if you guys want to check out the anniversary, you can click on the link in the description. You can also look at the list of stuff that I got in today's video. You can download the Timu app through the link in my description and get a $100 coupon bundle for free. You can also search my code AO100 and get the same discount. Huge shout out to Timu for sponsoring today's video. Make sure to check them out in the link in the description. Now back to the video. A ring a ding ding dong. Shoot! I fell. I think I need you up there. We're gonna have to empty this boat out, dude. This is why I've never fished this spot. Shoot. This is so dumb. Should have just dumped out all this gasoline. We would have been light as a feather. All right, see if this made a difference. Three, two, one. Oh. We care in there, boy. Who's got to carry the boat? Go down. Yeah, right. Yeah, girl. Don't look at me like that. I'm emotionally fragile. Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh. It is uh it's a little bit tougher than I thought. It's like every five yards. Pick the boat up, pick the boat up, pick the boat up. We picked everything out of the boat and we're carrying it back. We're hoping we can kind of snake through there and i thought i saw on the drone a pass to the end thinking this fishing spot though is going to be pretty epic oh yeah Oh, wow. Is it a boy or a girl? <laughs> putting me open, like, you all right? Yeah, I'm good. Never been like that. <laughs> Don't you lie on camera. That water's close to coming in the boat. Oh, wow. So much tougher than I thought it was going to be, dude. Risky maneuver. My butt is on fire. Hang Kai. Oh man, that feels so good. We're about to peel around this island and we're gonna be there. We're gonna feel so manly. I don't know how boat friendly this looks. Oh, all right, we've made it. We have one hour until the water reaches us, maybe an hour and a half. We're gonna push across the spillway and fish that deep channel. Kind of mediocre, not gonna lie. I'm hoping we just come up on a pool and there's eight foot gar or something stupid. Let's see what we can find. I will say first off, the spillway seems more narrow, shorter, and there's less water going over it than the other two spillways that I fished before. Okay, big snake. Woo, that is uh, not what you wanna see. He might be coming up. Okay, be careful. Yeah, no, 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 we want to fish here. Don't do that. I've come three hours. I'm sorry, sir. I know this is your home. All right, let's go past them. You know, there's some days when you get out of bed and you look back and you think, why'd I do that? 
This could be one of those days. Ah. Slippery! That does not look comforting. Wow. This dam's been here forever. Seems like there's a hole in the dam. Spit water out. It's not coming over the top. Woo! That is that powerful. Oh, I think this looks more shallow than over there. Dude, I don't, I don't see any fish cruising. I don't see brim. I see nothingness. Crazy. Just nothing, man. Nothing. I talked to an old guy at a boat ramp the other day and he said that this place has not been getting as much water and it's gone downhill. And I would say he was right. It wouldn't hurt so bad if we didn't just spend eight hours getting here and lose a drone. But this thing's. Oh, I wanna go home. I wanna go home, I wanna go home. Sometimes in life, you go home. <laughs> I'm thinking about going home. All right, man, we're gonna jump up, act like it's the intro, high energy, and hope nobody notices. Timu, $500 budget. I'm pretty sure it's the biggest Timu fishing budget challenge that is yet to come. I have not seen a $500. Thank you, good sir. So I had a $500 budget. They let me get everything I could think of, reels, rods, lures, tackle. I even got some clothing and some bags. Nice. Here's the only catch. There's a $200 reel that's just floating in my town right now. I moved houses recently and and it didn't get shipped to you? Yes, just somebody's got a $200 Timu reel. Golly. Yeah, well, I mean, whack a fat Sally for me. So, as you guys just saw, we had a day going to a spillway. I've never fished before. I tried to fish it, went terribly wrong. Pulled my back, cause I'm like out of shape. Mm, I used to be that way, long time ago. And now we're at an undisclosed location that has giant bass. The lake level is a little low, but we have multiple lakes that we can bank fish, hop around. I figured why not get smalls and do what we started this channel with, which is just taking fishing gear we've never used and bank fishing like some true well, pond hoppers. Pond hopping. I like it. Before we do that though, I got $500 from today's video sponsor, Timu. It's a pretty cool new app. If you never heard of them, they're kind of like Wish app, but better. And right now they have a one year anniversary where they have thousands of items for like a dollar only. Starting out, we had a $20 fishing backpack. Looks like you can hold a lot of gear. Has the side straps. We can slide in fishing poles, slide in all your tackle trays. Then we have some light straps. I've already sweat through my shirt, so Dude. having a lighter backpack, yeah. Sweating while you're showing me your backside. Moving along. Oh, you got a tackle bag. Yes, sir. And this thing's got a plenty of room as well. I would say you can put like line, maybe even extra reels right there. Yep. So that tackle box was another $22, $23. Then we have the 100 fishing lure kit. It's supposed to have top water lures, but I, it looks like mostly jerk baits to me. It's slam full, I can tell you that. Yes, it's one pack. I haven't opened up a single one. Comes with a little tackle tray. This is slightly over $20 as well. It has micro crank baits, jerk baits, deeper diving baits. Got a bunch of different colors too. Pretty much every colored jerk bait you can think of. And this brand is 
hangs your head. When it comes to Timu, their goal is to get you on the water as fast as possible for as cheap as possible. They also have some brands like Akuma that has some pretty nice rods and reels. Oh yeah, for sure. But most of their stuff is gonna be the cheapest option to get you on the water, which means you're not getting a Shimano, but you do get the whack of fatty. This right here looks like bar soap. Ooh. Yeah. These are impressive, my friend. How, how much were these? Yes. I would say here's gonna be like 40 bucks, but I know that it's not. On Timu, I would say you pay like $2 a piece. $3 for the whole box. For the whole box? For the whole box. Dang, dude, that is a steal. Like that's legit a steal. The cheapest jig that I found at Walmart was 97 cents. There's 10 of them in there. That adds up to $10 flat. Awesome. I'm curious how these are gonna work though. All right, so here's the main thing with the jigs for me. We gotta do the hook test. Dude, she is sturdy. Yeah? I'm serious. I may end up buying these from here on out. No more Walmart, no more nothing. If you can get them for that price. Yeah, that's a pretty dang good price. That's crazy. And check them out, guys. They all look great. Got, Got all kind of different yeah, flavors. Black and blue. I know you like that black and blue. <laughs> oh, dude, don't let me start protecting my eyes at a young age. Got these bad areas. <laughs> I mean, don't let me find an upward basketball league. Am I right? <laughs> dude, I'm just going to say them things look <laughs> so right now in lures, this bag fell open, which is my fault. I've been tossing this bag around, but we got every color of stick bait that you can think of. And what's cool, comes with a bunch of terminal. We have wacky rigs with weed guards, which is the way you want to throw these stick baits. And as you guys just saw, hitchhiking on my sunglasses was my O-ring applier, which if you want to go wacky, having this thing, unless you got fingers like a two-year-old, is the best way to apply an O-ring to a stick bay. Good Lord, that was easy. Mm -hmm. Put a hook through there, get all wacky on them. We also have swivels, circle hooks, a bunch of other tackle, but when it comes to our serious gear, this is what we're working with. Now I got a little reckless. I was trying to get a catfish set up. Accidentally bought a two piece deep trolling saltwater setup. This thing is a beast. Good lord. <laughs> I, mean, I feel like we could do a rope swing and send me out there on it. I feel like we could do a little weight test and you stand over the edge and just hang. I just kind of walk out on it. <laughs> I will say for a two-piece rod, this has to be the beefiest two-piecer I've ever seen. Oh yeah, that second piece, beefy. So this thing is around $80. Originally, I was going to pair it for a catfishing setup for the spillway, and I wanted to get a reel that had some indicator that a fish was on. Oh. So. Like take a nap. Yeah. Whenever you hear it. Yeah. And just wake so, up. This is our Okuma reel. It's a left handed reel. It has a feet counter, not the feet that you're thinking of. One, two. We got it rigged with braid, which should be pretty good for today. Gear ratio is a 6.3. To one. So just all around, all around everything. It also came with the He 7000 or the HE. It's a spinning reel, pretty good size. It's kind of universal for what we do. Came with a Shakespeare Concor, Conquer, excuse me, <laughs> Concor. <laughs> trying all right, am I right? We got two hours of fishing, one of the best fisheries around, thinking we have potential to catch a giant. See if this two mood gear can stand up against a fatty. I'm banking on it. Okay, guys, so we're about to start fishing. I have the Timu jig paired up with the little trailer that we got. As soon as we get down here, we immediately start seeing some fish jump, so that's cool. All right, Smalls. I got my Conquest Shakespeare rod, spinning rod. It is a six foot. The action is medium. Got six to 12 pound line is what it's rated for. Okay. I got 15 pound fluoro on here, and I also rigged up the stick bait. You guys know if I have a stick bait, gotta throw me list. Oh, wow. Yeah, I did just think <laughs> you about that. just turned into a stick bait dog. Yeah, so I don't know if AO did this on purpose or not, but I have never in my life thrown a left handed reel. So, <laughs> I mean, who knows? Maybe he's giving himself the edge. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I ordered these really late, man. Dude, to be honest, I would feel super accomplished by catching a fish on a left handed rod and reel. Have you ever? I'm not, I haven't, and I'm not amphibious, so I can't use both. You know what I mean? God, sorry, man. Uh, oh, gosh. Really glad they put that sign up in case anybody was speeding back here, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, prepare to stop. <laughs> whoa, whoa, you've gone too far, stop. <laughs> Did you guys not see this huge tree? Oh my gosh. 
So fishing lately in any still water for me has just been terrible. Okay. It's done decent on the river, except for spillways. Every time I've gone out, fish have just been so deep. They just don't want to do nothing, which I don't blame them. It's hot. Because it's warm and the water levels are low. Be careful, man. Looks kind of snaky. Oh, dang. I think we can get to the water edge, bro. Oh, dude, that would be sick. Looks like some pebbles. Yes. Come to Papa. Dang, dude, that's clutch. Feels so snaky. Oh, gosh, I'm just pushed off the top of that log. I know that that reel makes a funnier noise than this one, but I feel like you're going to be a lot better off. I think so, too. Like, not even close. I'm definitely going to work past the left-handed. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I, I did that for you. You wanted me to grow as a fisherman, as an angler. Well, dude, I appreciate it. Anytime, brother. <laughs> Anytime. Stop. Heck yeah, dude. We'd run jumping over to what? Sure. I think kind of looks like an old roller coaster. Oh, yeah. Click, 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 click. That would be awesome. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Let's go. Dude, that was right beside the bank. Golly, I'm getting in there. That was literally right on the bank. Dude, that thing scared me, bro. Me too. Did you throw in the grass and just pop it I, in? I threw in the grass and made a terrible cast. And then when as soon as it hops in the water, she crushed it. <laughs> Let's go, baby. These fish are healthy in this little lake too, man. Tummied up like your boy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dude, let's go. Heck yeah, bro. Well, that's a good sign, bro. No doubt. Sun's just starting to set. Don't even have shade on the whole lake yet. So at first I was thinking that I didn't need to throw super close to the bank. That definitely changed my mind. Mm -hmm. Oh, changed your mind too, eh? <laughs> that's going to be the one. Oh my God. Dude, that felt like a good one. Yeah? Oh, dude, let's go. Let down it. I'm doing it like a champ. Let's go. <laughs> nice fish, bro. Nice fish. Let's go. Got a nice little messed up spot on her, but other than that, she's super healthy and she's gorgeous. Pretty little fish. Thanks for playing the old game, girl. I see a ton of bait right here too. I mean, literally I'm looking at thousands of bait fish. So there ought to be some big ones in here. Tummy up. Dang, dude, there should be fish right there. That's deep. That's awesome. Dude, you got me on edge, brother. Oh, that feels so much better, dude. Couldn't really cover water because I didn't have any heavy baits. Smalls ended up having a super heavy jackhammer with them. Put the Timu stick bait on the back of her. It's a pretty sweet trailer and I just got smacked in my first cast and I'm covering water now. All right, guys, I've got pipe dreams. Get on there, big daddy. I'm gonna watch this with you. I would love to see a five gallon bucket, dude. You're about to see it. Just be patient, bro. It's coming. I can feel it in my bones. Should happen in about three, two, one, zero, zero, zero. God. Hey, it's happening right here, dude. It's entirely too deep on these rocks 
to not get a bite, guys. Move on, put it in here. What? They said I'll definitely get a bite. <laughs> now is prime time. It's been a couple hours, whole pond shade. We probably got 20 minutes left, but now is when the magic happens. Dang it. So I feel like I'm too close to the bank, but probably, oh, oh my gosh. Oh gosh. Dude. Oh gosh. That's oh. a giant, dude. Yeah. That yeah, is yeah, a, yeah. That's a giant. Bite him, buddy. This is a legit giant. <laughs> Take my bet back off. He's oh, got to go up. Oh my gosh, He's dude. got to go up. This is a jump. Oh, is that my PT? I don't know that it's a PT, but I think it's a five or a six. Come dude, on, Ayo. I'm sorry. Come on, Ayo. I got to grab. Come I got to grab. Let's go, Ayo. Oh my dude, God. You grab it, buddy. Yes, sir. Dude, small. Oh, we knew it. I was just saying, prime time. Oh, oh my God, let's go. <laughs> oh my God. Team dude, you said that it was going to happen. It dude. did happen. It's that time, baby. It is that time. Dude, that's a five pounder all day long. Dude, it's a healthy fish, too. It's got a smaller mouth and a chunky body. Look at that. Oh, fist in the mouth. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Good dude. fish, bro. She's gorgeous, man. She is gorgeous. Get my phone. Get that phone, boy. Yeah, I'm sorry. I should just ask. Okay. Never let your fish go. <laughs> Are you good? Three, two. Then that should work. Dude, I want one with you for the Instagram. Wait, 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 wait. Let me take one for real. It has been a long time since I've caught Ooh. one that big, dude. I haven't caught one this big in a long time. So appreciate you, <laughs> homie. You, bro. See you later, girl. God, that was so sick, that was, dude. dude left-handed? That was so sick. Yeah, left-handed on the timber reel. You're dirty, dirty dog. Dude, that timber reel held up perfect for a five-pounder, for real. Oh, baby. Don't let me catch a giant. What do you know about that, Smalls? I, huh? I see that, dude. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to make your fish look tiny on camera or anything, bro, but I'm sorry about it. He's even got a little humpback. Yeah, I was about to say, that's where my fish bit it this morning, trying to eat it. It's all good, dude. Think about it, that fish you just caught had a purpose too. All right, so all they wanted was top water at the last pond. They didn't want anything diving, no jerk baits, no stick baits. I thought it would be wrong if we did a $500 budget. We only caught fish on the reels and rods. So we got the lures. We're my favorite fishing spot. I'm gonna see what we can do in two hours. Starting out today, use the O-ring from the kit, circle hook, a little bit of a weed guard. Wading out to one of my favorite little shoals to fish. We have potential to catch spotted bass, largemouth, Sometimes the shoalies get up here is pretty rare, but there are some pretty chunky fish swimming in this section of the river. We're gonna try to end up on that main stretch of boulders. Oh yeah, all right. Come on, buddy. Oh yeah, third cast of the day. Just set my drag and it slipped immediately. It looks like a small little spot. Come here, buddy. Oh, a large mouth. Yes, yes. Dude, I, I wanted to change lures as soon as I caught fish per Timu lure, but I just rigged up the O-ring and the wacky rig. Third cast. Let's see if we can't catch one a little bit bigger. <sighs> right in the mouth. Oh, mouth. Ugh. First lure out of the Timu budget challenge, wacky rig. Reel felt pretty good. I need to tighten the drag up because if that was a three pounder, I would have just been. Zzzz.
Oh, okay. All right, well, it is hot and it's getting hotter and the water's about to rise. So we're getting out of here. Unfortunately, I was hoping we'd come out here and just double up on fives for you guys, but I don't have it like I used to. It's also the warmest the water has felt out here probably all year. Real time heat's like 110 or something like that. But thank you guys for watching. If you made it to this point, I love you dirty dogs. Thanks Timo. Check out Small's channel. Help me get to a million subs so I don't have to rub Norm's feet. If you don't know what that means, stick around, you'll figure it out. Love you guys, see ya. What's up guys, so I'm trying to rub some feet.